Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I am an Illumin Twin Flame. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. A lot of people are really feeling uh, just a sense of urgency, but also a sense of extreme fatigue that is really, really telling and revealing. What does this mean? Well, it happens because you are coming to a new level. Now, a lot of people have known that things are up-leveling, leveling off, but it's a whole different story when you feel it in your body. And just at a point where people were expecting that there would be some alleviation, it's actually time for more closure, more integration, because you have a new body template. You're actually in the time right now that you've been expecting that you've arrived for and for those of you who have said why is this taking so long it's been taking a long time to line things up because you're not only lining up two people you're actually dismantling a lot and you are also releasing a lot and it's a process it's not a process you can't erase eons of things and just you know the blink of an eye as much as we'd like to because you'd have a really huge nervous breakdown what else is happening? Well, as you know, we're going to be changing seasons here. And I do uh, know that a lot of people are feeling it. If nothing else, you should be noticing it in the changes in the weather. And here we get a little bit of an advance warning that things are going to be changing up fairly rapidly. And it's happening in other parts of the world. So pay attention in what I say, your neck of the woods, in your grid, what is happening? It's a natural occurrence. Things are going to change. Your body is going to change. Your body needs to be at a new level. And this means closure. Just as everything that happens when you come to the end of something, it's the ending. Okay? But endings are for new beginnings. Uh, that might sound like a cliche and you might say, yeah, I'm a little bit um, worried about what does it bring. Don't be. Don't be. It's like having a blank canvas. Okay, what are we really doing here? Because I really need to boil this down for you because there's just too much misinformation out there. You're here because you get a fresh start. Not only you, both of you. Not only both of you. But you get to ditch the past. That means complete and utter forgiveness. That means actually something beyond forgiveness. What else does that mean? That means that some of the things that you might see as the titles of a video actually don't really even, it doesn't even matter. It won't really matter because why? New body template. But the key to this is you have to integrate this. You have to personalize it. This is your existence. This is your life. This is your twin flame union. And I don't even want to hear nobody, well, that person doesn't want union. You're already connected, okay? You may have to slow down at certain points, and you will get speeded up at certain points. You have a brand new twin flame body, and it is the biggest thing that you're really here for so that you could be back in love. Why does everyone, not everyone, why do a lot of people assume somehow there's like some foolishness on a higher level that doesn't know about what goes on here? But things will play out as a repeat of patterns until people have had it, okay? And for some of you, you're reaching that point where you're saying, I've had it. I talked about it in my last video. Do you feel defeated? Do you feel, okay, is that, how does that feel? That doesn't feel good. I've been there. I was there um, not just once because, you know, you're not exactly Napoleon getting defeated at Waterloo. You are a high level, high consciousness being is who you really are. So some of that stuff, earthly stuff just doesn't apply. If you're engaging with soulmates, okay, please know that some of this closure means that some soulmate stuff will only last seasonal. 
And that's almost a blessing in disguise. So if you're wondering where some relationship went, you really need to find out if, as the season changes here, will, you know, is that thing ever rolling around again? Or is it detaching for good? And that's a hard thing for a lot of people because that busts people out of their comfort zones. They get dazzled in it. They're like, what just happened? What just happened? Closure. Closure is happening. Do you not know what is coming up for you next year, for a lot of people next year? This thing is going to bust wide open. And so to give you some of the metrics, because some people are interested in that, you have, in all honesty, you have approximately, these are the numbers I get from my higher self, about worldwide, there's about 2 million people activated. Of that, maybe a million are actually aware and trying to do something about it. And of that segment, there's about 300,000 that are sort of in the lead. But when I say in the lead, I don't mean to imply this is some sort of race because your higher self has a lot to do with how you get pushed for it. And a lot of you know that. You know when you're getting a push and you know that there are people who are losing their minds in this. And maybe they need to lose the ego mind about some things. But that doesn't mean that you have to have a nervous breakdown. So what if you can't really explain something with your head? The key is in your body. Your twin flame body has answers. I help you to get those answers for you. I help you to get your channels open. I help you to get unstuck and feel better. Some people have had questions like, what if I'm older? Okay. What if you are older? Let me tell you some really good things. Your aging process will slow down. How it plays out is a bit weird. What if you're younger? You will feel like you are going through some old age stuff on purpose so that you can clear some things that are vitally important to clear now. Now. Now in the present moment. Not two years from now. Not eight months from now. Now. That's how some of this is working, like it or not. And it is sending people to places like the hospital, to their doctors, to try to figure out what's going on. Come to the Twin Flame Healer, such as myself, to find out what is going on. Because I will point you in the right direction. I will get your energy shifted. Because that's all I do. I do energy shifting. I read your energies. I help you shift your energies. I give you a little to-do list of what to do after that, and hopefully you do it. And I do recommend that you do this more than once because you will find out that with your light body, your light body needs to be maintained from a couple of levels. No matter how you pop open, no matter how you activate, no matter how you think you got this, your maintenance is going to be on a couple of levels. You still have this physical life, which is, yes, going to finish out. You're not, someone just wrote and said, when do we get to fly out of here? My question to you would be, when do you get your wings open and when are you starting to do your true twin flame body work? Because if you don't know about it, I actually just ran a webinar on it about a month ago. And I have quite a bit of material on this. It is all very much in a sequence to help you. What else do I have going on? Well, if you are going to come to Chicago, come in October, come for my two-day workshop, the 26th and 27th. I will be giving live classes and live evenings at the North Shore Healing Center located in the northwest corner of Chicago. And I know some of you who are in Chicago, you've been wanting to have some kind of a meetup or something. Well, this is, this is my evening thing. Okay, that's, that's going to be the first major one, and there will be other ones after that. 
I also am seeking people who actively want to learn how to do this work so that you can help the people that are waking up next year because it's going to keep happening. This is going to barrel along and you can roll over on it or you can get proactive and you can learn it. The universe needs people who are fifth dimensional healers. I don't care how many uh, things that you might know. This is actually different. And the difference is, is that there's two of you. And you got to keep your union clear of everybody's stuff. So the, the methods are a bit different. That is what I teach. So it is a Twin Flame Body Practitioner Course Level 1 designed to get you up and running within a sh relatively short amount of time. And yes, there is a payment plan for that. I do sessions. I do live one-on-one -on -one sessions. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about what is happening in these energies, okay? The days are going where even the energy reporters are going to be able to tell Twin Flames what is going on. And once again, it's going to boil down to enabling your body to tell you what is needed. Because there is no rhyme or reason, you are leaving a collective, you're leaving your, your collective of your origin is to put it more specifically. You're breaking away. You're breaking up with them. They're falling away from you. And it is saddening. It, okay, how many people when they went to high school got to the end of the four years and they said, Oh my God, I've been coming here for four years. Now what am I going to do? And other people were like, I'm going to miss everyone. I miss my teachers. I want to come back here and visit. And and I just I can't believe I'm already graduating. The four years flew by. And then you have other people that are like, I am out. I couldn't wait for this four years to be over. Show me to the door. I'll see myself out. Thank you very much. I've had it over the past four years. I did my best. I really, you know, I just really need to be done. I need to be on that acceleration track, right? We all know people like this, you know, they're afraid to leave their comfort zone of where they've been. And there's other people that are ready to move forward. Now, there is a difference when it's high school and when it's twin flame stuff. Twin flame stuff, you get pushed along and the door closes behind you. So when we pass through the lion's gate, that was closure. That closed out your Palladian backstory. Why? Because you're here now. Because you need to get to the new earth. And you're not going to do it with a whole group. You're going to do it with your true love. So I'm trying to simplify this for as much as possible. You've never really ever been separate from your twin flame. You're always connected. But yeah, you've been in a lower density where you can't pick up where the other is. And you're saying, do I go with this person? Do I go with that person? Maybe you had to go with other people just to survive. That's understood. But those days are gone. And this is why um, interludes with soulmates or relationships, marriages, even things like jobs, they will be seasonal. Here for a season, some. You know, like that old axiom says, some things are in your life for a season and they serve a purpose and then it moves on. But if you don't move on, that's when it starts to get uncomfortable. And that's where I come in because sometimes the discomfort, I don't like to see anyone in grief, pain, sadness, sorrow, physical discomfort, illness. I don't like to see any of that. I've had to see plenty of it in my own family. I myself have been through it. 2017, I was like death warmed over. And some of you might be feeling like that. You have grid work to set up. You have your light body to customize. There's work to be done despite whatever you might have thought you've worked on so far. Do not think that what you've done is not important and have no regrets. But going forward, this means at a new level, becoming adept again and 
actually getting yourself acclimated to having an actual sense of living at two levels. That is what I teach. Now, a lot of you are, um, you've been in a contraction mode, okay? There is a time compression here. That's a factor. You're like people that are coming into, um, you know, you came into the airport, you're getting off the plane, and everything is funneled down, and you're going little by little. But then you'll start to get out into an open area again. That open area is the new level. And that is where some people might say, not the world is your oyster, but the cosmos is your oyster. But getting yourself there, that's something that takes a little bit of several things. Okay? It takes getting your high heart channels open, up and running, functioning, and dissipating things. You have to be able to breathe in a couple of ways. Why? I'll give you an example. Let's say you have to do some physical work. You're doing chores around your house. And it's physically heavy. What do you start to do? You, you breathe differently. Okay? You're exhaling differently. You're sweating. Okay? When it comes to... Your twin flame body, it's not like that, okay? That is not heavy exertion. It's different. And this is why I teach it. It's different. There's actually three levels. And for lovers, as you get into your bubble with each other, there's even other stuff you're going to do with each other. Now, what about when people live together? Because a lot of people will look around and say, well, what about those couple? You play this game, it's called Spot the Twin Flame. You go someplace, you go to the store, you go to the airport, you see a couple, and some little part of you is saying, let's just play Spot the Twin Flame and figure out if people are twin flames. Well, you can't tell by looking at us, and you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. But couples themselves will have high metaphysical experiences. A lot of couples who are together may not have had the same metaphysical experiences that you have had. In that sense, you may actually have an advantage over some people who have been together. What if your twin flame has recently been with someone else? They're the one with the soulmate. You should get some of my information to find out how to properly clear out another person's energy from your union because it is vitally important. Otherwise, that person feels like some false thing siphoning out all of your energy. And I don't want you to get angry about it because we've all had agreements about this stuff. We've all had higher level soul agreements or contracts. A lot of people call it, just call it a contract. And it's done. It's expired. But it'll start to stink unless you start to clear out your energy from supporting that other relationship. So I do have ways for you to get your channels open. I do coach people. And I coach people on several types of situations. I have sessions that will focus if you're going through a breakup or divorce. I have an abundance webinar for people that are considering being entrepreneurial or if you would like to get my Twin Flame Body Practitioner course. I do also have sessions that help people with phobias, abuse, and some really heavy-duty things. Okay, that is one of the things about this journey. We like to focus on the light and the love because that is who we are. However, there is a dark side to things, the shadowy stuff that sometimes comes out. It comes up in our face. It comes up to be addressed properly. And that proper means get rid of it fully. That is what I know how to do. Phobias take approximately three to four sessions, if not longer, depending on what it is. Things such as abuse also will take that. 
If there's addictions, I have a session for that. So what are addictions? Sometimes it's reaching for the same old person and reaching for comfort. Or are you the person that someone else reaches for for emotional comfort? What are you getting out of that deal? Pay attention to you because there is something to know about being a twin flame. You will hear people say phrases such as, I'm loving myself first, or I'm practicing self-love, okay? But then they go out and, and do the opposite of it. Practicing self-love and loving yourself first for a twin flame means your communion with your higher self and with the 5D self of your true love. And it means more than that. Because by coming into connection and union with yourself, that is how you do integrate. So it is time to start, you know, really learning this in earnest because there's going to be more that happens down the line. And I do expect to hear some of the great stories from people about their experiences. I've already been hearing it. I am very privileged and honored to hear people's love stories but also their high-level experiences as they get activated by doing my method of the twin flame body channel opening and clearing and having a session. People report stuff back to me. I don't actually ask them to, but I do try to follow up and see how they are doing. And things shift within sometimes hours or by three days. We have gotten it shifted. So please consider having one of my sessions join a live class at the North Shore Healing Center. The information is in the description below. I will have a link. You can sign up for my two-day workshop. The two-day workshop is going to be a two-day intensive where we really get into twin flame stuff that is vitally important for you to know. Some of you may not understand how this is going, but you will die on the vine unless you get your light body up and running and get it, you know, it, it's almost like getting yourself wired up, okay? There's an assumption, I think, that people are somehow assuming that it will go a certain way, but you got to put some skin in the game to use a football phrase, okay? As we go into the football season here, time for some skin in the game. What that means is proactivity, learning it because it is new. And I wouldn't be saying that if I hadn't lived through it. It took me quite a little bit of time to get things up and running and document it and understand it so that I could teach people. So please let me know. If you have questions, reach out to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye.